Page 20, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. 4-4 four, four time, 1 sharp, so it's in G major or E minor. Take a look at the end of the last measure. You're here. It's a G chord, I'm guessing this is in G major. It has a pickup beat, and we'll start with the right hand. I have some suggestions to make. This is an interesting arrangement, I've never run across this arrangement before. It's a little different. 4 and. And then a triplet, four and one endo. Four, you gotta go back and forth between one and two and and one and a two and a. So can you go one and two and three and a four and a one and two and three and a four and a. you gotta be able to switch back and forth between twos and threes like that. It's just all piano players gotta do that, and that's what we're doing here. So it's four and one and a two and three. I'll adjust the rhythm in a little bit. Let's get it exactly the way it is first. It's good practice. Now the fingering here, that's okay. There's kind of a standard fingering on these notes. It's called a turn. The, 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 the pattern is called a turn. And the typical fingering you'll get is you, you'll put a thumb on the D here. It's you're using the four three two one fingering here and the thumbs in here, so it's a here, here, and that's what this is. It's slowly, but that's what. It is. So I'm going to recommend thumb and then second finger on the E. Everywhere in here you get this pattern. Same thing. So again, four and one and the two and three and four. And then reach up, lift up. It's new phrase. Again, triplet, one and a two. Lift up, up. Lift up. It's like it was at the beginning. Same fingering, etc. Top of page 21. You're here. Now they're showing a new phrase here. I disagree. I think this should all be one phrase. It's going to play that top note, and then now it's a, f and then here, and again, I would not separate these phrases. To me, that's all one phrase. It's all one thought. Here, all of that is one thought. Now it's a new phrase. Watch this fingering here, and the uh, triplets. The second line on page 21. Here. One and a two and a one and a fourth finger. That's okay. The third line down, first measure, one and two and a three and and now, now for the third line down, second measure, I'm recommending a fourth finger on the A. And then for the next line, it's a four five. Here on the two A's. And then go on. Your fingering is okay. Again, I would do a, a, this is the last line on page 21, the first measure. One, two, three. I just stay here because I'm in position to go on. Like so, so it's. Page 22, for the most part, is sa the same as what we've already had. And the last line's different, but those are whole notes. and. Hopefully you can hold that, and then in the last measure, the right hand has to reach down and play that G, the first note in the measure. That's right hand, then the left hand does the rest. Speaking of left hand, melody's in the right hand. Keep the left hand soft, just and play it as legato as you can. One. You can't play it legato all the way because of the chords, but do the best you can. What I'm saying is there's no phrasing to speak of. There's a few slurs here and there, but no phrasing. It's like the third line down, second measure, that's a slur. You connect them, okay. So you might be wondering, so why do they even bother with a slur? Why, why do they need anything? Well, the answer is because if they don't tell you a slur, you're free to interpret it any way you want. And that means you could play those staccato if you wanted to. They don't want them staccato, so they put in a slur to tell you for sure, connect those notes. And same thing in the next line on the eighth notes. 
here, connect these with the next note. Don't split that. No, this isn't phrasing, this is slurring. Connect those, those lead in to it. Yeah. And I'm recommending you play them all legato. Rest. Watch the notes you'll be all right. The last measure, I'm recommending you connect those, those slurs. Typically with a slur you'd lift up. I'm, I'm suggesting connect them. And that's staccato. And then the chord is a B, D sharp, A. And then here, and the same chord. So the third line down, one and two and three and four and. That's an A, C sharp, G. And then the next, same chord, three and four. And the last line down, I recommend a two on that eighth note, just this position. I don't need to cross over the thumb. Rest. And the same. And the eighth notes at the end of the page, connect those to the next notes coming up. This is like we had on page 20. Keep in mind on page 21, I skipped over, but on the first line and the second measure, the left hand has to play that high D. Just one note. And then it comes back down. There's other ways we can finger it so you don't have to do that, but it's kind of fun to cross over once in a while, so let's do it. And it's showy, so okay. You get that on page 22 also. Then on page 22, it's the same as what we've had before until we get down to the bottom. The last line, you're here. Yeah, you triplets. One and two and three. That's fourth finger, so that four and three is, the three is for the triplet. It's not a finger number. So it's one and two and cross over. Same thing with rhythm. One and two and three and a four and one and two. And then the right hand plays the first note in the last measure and the left hand comes down to get the last two. It's a D and a G. Fun, huh? Work these out one hand at a time to get an idea of the fingering and then try putting them together slowly. Again, if you're struggling with this, forget the rhythm. Just focus on the notes and which fingers are playing at the same time. And once you have a handle on that, then you can go back and put in the rhythm. For the sake of this video, I'm going to do the rhythm now. It's, so it's four and, four and, one and, a two and. you play all these rests. It's important. So again, second measure, second line. Rest. Rest. together. I don't, hopefully I don't have to play everything for you. You get the I don't want you copying me is my problem. On page 22 at the bottom, the last line, just whole notes in the right hand is one and two and three and four. Like so. You could play that G down there with the left hand if you wanted to. You don't have to cross over, but it's kind of fun to cross over once in a while. And if you got people watching you, it's showing. Okay, so you work all that out. The dynamics. Get to know the piece, and you can you can feel these dynamics. It's to the melody. Keep everything else soft. And 
third line down, you got that swell. That A is where you're headed. And you come back off, and you come down. I like swells, huh? Top of page 21, second measure, you're crescendoing. That, now you're loud, here. Come back down to medium soft. Keep the left hand very soft here. Now you're going to get louder and louder up to loud. There, and then come down a little bit. back off and running again. Huh? So you get to know the piece, you add the dynamics. Then they're telling us we can swing the eighth notes. It's a style of the piece. So rather than playing even one and two and three, we one and two and three. And this is where the triplet and the eighth note then blend in together. Where a lot of the eighth notes are going to sound more like triplets. One and a two and three and four and one and a two and three. It's really how it is. But you're good. Usually it's one and a two and a one and a two and they're gonna sound about the same. So over on page 21, second line. Even that. One and two and three and four. And like so the counting just continues on. Third line, you hear. All the way through it. Just swing them. Speed-wise, it's up to you. How, if you're going to sing it, how would you sing it? I've heard it all kinds of speeds. Fairly slow and small to see. Or fast, party by. You gotta make it yours eventually so you can experiment with it. The important thing is it's that you be accurate. Don't go faster than you can control. If you're gonna sing it, how fast would you sing it? What mood are you in? It's not always going to be the same speed. That can change. Experiment. Then we add the pedal occasionally. We don't want to blur this up. This is a light piece. So we'll just add pedal when we need to and you actually play the whole thing pretty much without pedal, but we'll add pedal. They put in a little bit, so so we will. You know. well, they're not pedaling the first couple of measures. That's nice. It's like this is a response to the first part. When you play that B, G sharp, lift the pedal up. So you got a statement response, statement response. So the first is a statement. Response. So, and none of this is pedaled. This can be. I don't know why it is. It kind of, in my opinion, I wouldn't pedal this either. I didn't pedal. I don't want to add overtones here. That changes the sound a lot. I just leave it. I just leave it clean. No pedal there. Now, no pedal on any of this. You get top page twenty-one. The last measures here. Don't pedal the next the second line there because it's staccato. This has to 
be very clean here. No pedal, it's kind of a light piece. Over on page 22, it's the same as what we've already had before. You get down to the bottom. The last line here. Don't pedal the eighth notes, or the triplets. Like so. Very little pedal. I'm going to do a short play with me. If you want to play along, at least the right hand, go ahead just to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm going to do pages 20 and 21, and I'm going to stop and turn the page and count in again and do page 22. Now, if you're playing for people and you got to turn the page, you don't have it memorized, when you get to the bottom of page 21, you're probably going to have to let up on that half dotted half note. So you can use the right hand to turn the page while you're doing this. Gives you a little bit of time to turn the page quickly. Because the beat goes on. You can't mess up the beat. So the beat's got to keep flowing. But you practice the page turn if you need to. Work it in. So I'm going to give three counts and start because we come in on beat four. One and ready and go and... page. One, two, ready and go, Anna. 